The modern salts and chlorides we use are more effective on ice, but also more corrosive. A thorough desalting after each winter storm event is critical to the service life of our equipment. Long before a winter storm hits, you should look over your mixing pad and washing systems to make sure they can handle the coming equipment desalting job. Make sure the drop inlet and all drains are clear of debris, the berms are intact, and your salt pond or tank has the capacity to hold your desalting runoff. For sites with a diverter valve, make sure the valve is set to direct the salt-laden water to the salt pond, tank, or sanitary sewer, never off your facility and into the environment. Anytime salt is on the mixing pad, like during winter events, or when you're desalting equipment, the pad must drain to a salt pond, tank, or sanitary sewer. Check your steam cleaner or pressure washer. Are all the parts and attachments there and in good working order? Does the oil look good and does the engine start and run well? Does the pump develop good pressure? Does your steam cleaner heat up the water the way it should? Check to make sure you have plenty of salt neutralizing chemical. Read the label so you'll understand how to use it and refer to the manufacturer's safety data sheet so you'll know what specific personal protective equipment to wear while using it. Also check the pump spray bottle you use to apply it. Before starting your desalting operation, take time to look over the equipment carefully. Are there any loose electrical connections or parts? Is anything damaged or leaking? All equipment must be desalted on the mixing pad or in a wash bay. Desalt the spreader first. Desalt inside the spreader hopper, then inside the chute and spinner. Then slightly raise the bed and desalt the outside surfaces of the spreader. If the spreader has pre-wet tanks, empty those. We're finding that pre-wet tanks and brine tanks require special care to keep the pumps and valves in good shape. Be on the lookout for a new video on pre-wet and brine tanks. When you're finished desalting the spreader, desalt the truck, starting from the top of the cab and working your way down. Avoid the radiator and oil cooler. High pressure water can bend cooling fins or propel small rocks or salt crystals hard enough to put holes in the core. Open the hood and if possible, remove the inner fenders and carefully desalt this area with low pressure water. Be careful around the wiring, decals and electrical components. Do not use hot or cold pressurized water or degreasers under the hood. Electrical wiring harnesses and components like lights, fuse boxes, and heated mirrors can be very susceptible to corrosion. Take special care to desalt them and special care not to force water and salt into the wiring connections. Weather permitting and when practical, remove the spreader, then spray it with salt neutralizing chemical. Raise the bed and chalk it with the prop bars, then desalt and flush out the bed, underneath the bed, and everything you can get to. If it's not practical to remove the spreader, desalt everything you can get to. When you're done, go over everything with salt neutralizing chemical. Make sure the chemical stays on for at least two to three minutes, and then thoroughly rinse it off with water. After your desalting operation, move the equipment off the mixing pad. Let it dry and then lubricate the chains or augers and any associated moving spreader parts using proper controls such as catch pans or pads. Either at the end of winter or sometimes between winter events, if you have a diverter valve at your facility, you'll need to clean up and change the flow of the runoff water from the pad. First, return recoverable salt back to the building and remove any debris. Then thoroughly wash the pad clean the drop inlet and flush the drain line into the salt pond, salt tank, or sanitary sewer. Only after this thorough cleaning can you set your diverter valve to direct runoff water off of your facility. Remember, salt-laden water must never be allowed to flow into the environment. Use this same desalting procedure for motor graders, loaders, and any other equipment used to fight winter snow and ice. If you have a unique mixing pad or drainage system at your facility and you have any questions about best practices for your unique setup, contact your regional or central office hazardous materials manager.